Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Beshbarmak, a traditional Kazakh dish made with boiled meat, usually lamb or beef, served with flat noodles and a savory onion sauce. Beshbarmak is a traditional dish from Central Asia, particularly popular in Kazakhstan. The name translates to five fingers, as it is traditionally eaten with the hands. The dish consists of boiled meat, usually lamb or beef, served on top of large, flat noodles, which are then topped with onion sauce and sometimes accompanied by boiled potatoes and carrots. The meat is often cooked with onions and spices for added flavor. Beshbarmak is typically served as a communal dish, with everyone sharing from a large platter placed in the center of the table. It is considered a symbol of hospitality and is often served at celebrations and gatherings. Overall, Beshbarmak is a delicious and hearty dish that has been enjoyed by generations in Central Asia. Kazai, a type of sausage made from horse meat that is often served as a snack on its own or as part of a larger meal. Kazai, also spelled as kazi or kazi, is a type of sausage that is a traditional delicacy in Kazakhstan and other Central Asian countries. It is made from ground beef or horse meat, mixed with a variety of spices and then stuffed into a sheep's intestine casing. The sausage is then smoked and dried for several days until it becomes hard and chewy. Kazai is often served sliced thinly and accompanied by traditional Central Asian side dishes, such as boiled potatoes, pickled vegetables, and sour cream. It is also a popular ingredient in many traditional Kazakh dishes, such as beshbarmak, a type of noodle dish, and kurdak, a dish made from organ meat and potatoes. Da, kazai has a unique flavor and texture and is considered a delicacy in Kazakhstan. It is also an important part of Kazakh culture and is often served during special occasions such as weddings and festivals. Shashlik, skewered and grilled meat, usually lamb or beef, that is marinated in spices and often served with bread and onions. Shashlik is a type of skewered meat dish that is popular in many parts of the world, especially in Central Asia, the Caucasus, and the Middle East. The dish is typically made by marinating cubes of meat, such as lamb or beef, in a mixture of spices, herbs, and oil, and then skewering them onto long metal or wooden sticks. The skewered meat is then grilled over an open flame, often over charcoal, until it is cooked to perfection. The result is a juicy, tender and flavorful meat that is often served with a variety of accompaniments such as vegetables, bread, or rice. The exact recipe for shashlik can vary depending on the region and the cook, but some common ingredients include garlic, paprika, cumin, coriander, and vinegar. Shashlik can be enjoyed as a main course dish or as a snack, and is often served at outdoor gatherings and celebrations. Borsaki, deep-fried dough balls that are often served as a snack or with tea. Borsaki are a type of deep-fried dough pastry that originated in Central Asia and are popular throughout Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and other neighboring countries. They are made from a simple dough mixture of flour, water, salt, and yeast, which is then rolled out, cut into small pieces, and deep-fried in oil until golden brown. Borsaki are often served as a traditional snack or dessert and are typically served warm, sprinkled with sugar or honey, or with a side of sour cream or jam. They can also be served with savory accompaniments, such as meat or cheese. In addition to being a popular food in Central Asia, borsaki are also enjoyed in other parts of the world, such as Russia and Turkey, where they are known by different names. Lagman, a noodle soup that is often made with lamb or beef, vegetables, and spices. Lagman is a traditional dish from the Dungan people, an ethnic group that originated in China and now resides in several countries, including Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and Russia. 
The dish typically consists of hand-pulled noodles made from flour and water, which are served in a savory broth with vegetables, meat, usually lamb, and spices. The noodles are usually quite thick and chewy, and the broth is often flavored with cumin, garlic, and other spices. Lagman is a hearty and comforting dish that is popular throughout Central Asia and beyond. Manti, steamed dumplings that are usually filled with ground beef or lamb and onions. Manti is a type of dumpling that is popular in several Central Asian countries, including Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkey. The dish consists of small pockets of dough filled with minced meat, usually lamb or beef, and onions, which are then steamed or boiled. Manti can be served with a variety of accompaniments, including sour cream, yogurt, or tomato sauce. Manti can be made in various sizes and shapes, with some countries having their own unique twist on the dish. For example, in Uzbekistan, manti is typically larger and is served with a vinegar and chili sauce, while in Kazakhstan, it is smaller and is often served with a mixture of butter and paprika. Manti is a beloved dish throughout the region and is often served on special occasions or during family gatherings. Palmani, dumplings filled with minced meat, usually beef or lamb, and onions that are boiled and served with sour cream. Palmani is a type of dumpling that is traditional in Russian and other Eastern European cuisines. The dumplings are typically made with a filling of ground meat, such as beef, pork, or lamb, and onions, seasoned with salt and pepper. The filling is then wrapped in a thin, unleavened dough made from flour, water, and sometimes eggs. Palmini are usually boiled in salted water and served hot, often accompanied by sour cream, vinegar, or butter. They are a popular comfort food in Russia and other Eastern European countries and are typically eaten in large quantities during the winter months. Palmini are also sometimes fried or baked and can be served with a variety of sauces and toppings depending on the recipe.